Hey guys, it's Jade from Themeco bringing you another video for the Creative Contact Form series. And in this video, we will be touching on how to create a multi-step contact form is what you're seeing right now. This kind of contact form is commonly used whenever you have a lot of fields on your form or if you want to separate the form into different sections, just like what I did for this setup. And I just want to mention that this is not natively supported in X in the content builder, nor in the contact form 7 plugin. So we're going to be using a different third party plugin in order to implement this one and incorporate it to the contact form 7. Another thing is we will be using the lawyer demo content that is available in the design cloud so that we'll be focusing more on the implementation of the multi-step content form and tackling a bit of the custom CSS we'll be using to customize our form in order for it to look harmoniously with our template right now. So without further ado, let's get on to the contact form 7 admin panel and get started. So we're now in a contact form 7 admin panel and as what you can see, we have here the choices of the fields that we could use on the form. However, if we're just going to use the options we have right now, the default options that are available in the contact form 7, we're not going to be able to implement the multi-step contact form. It is possible if we create our custom markup, custom JavaScript, and custom CSS. However, that will take a long time to create. But luckily, there is an existing third-party plugin that would enable us to create the multi-step contact form without needing to code any custom HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So that's what we're going to show you. First, let's install the plugin and search for the Contact Form 7 multi-step add-on. Install this plugin and activate it. Once it's activated, go back to the Contact Form 7 admin panel. Let's edit the form. And as well, you can see there are additional options that are now available in the Contact Form field selector. These are what we're going to use to create the multi-step contact form. But before we get started creating the form, I'd just like to let you know that since we are using a third-party plugin, which is the Contact Form 7 multi-step add-on, there might be cases that it would cause a conflict between the theme and the plugin itself. But as for the version I'm using right now, which is Pro 3.1.2, everything is working fine. But just keep in mind that that might happen sometimes that a plugin might not work with your setup in case it will cause a JavaScript or any conflict on your current setup. So let's get started building our form. I will put in the fields that we're going to be using for this setup. So for now, I have several text fields, email fields, telephone, and then some text area for our form. Let's just save this. And then I have another tab open, which is my contact form. And let's search on the contact form that we will be using. That is the multi-step contact form. So let's proceed in styling our contact form fields. Let's start with the text fields. So based on the previous videos, we know that each of the contact form 7 field is wrapped in a span tag with WPCF7 class. And let's target the input type text. And let's copy this. We're going to target the email field as well. The phone. And lastly, WPC of 7 text area. OK, 
Okay, first let's remove the border radius by setting the border radius property to zero. Then set the background color to transparent. Set the border to zero. Oh, sorry, this is supposed to be tell. And let's set the box shadow to none. Okay, now that we've kind of reset the styling of our form fields, then let's set the padding to this volume. Then let's set the border bottom to one pixel solid then that color and there you go we have already styled our form fields the next thing we need to do is to correctly set up the layout of our contact form field if you could see here we didn't add any markup so let's try to change the layout of our form fields. So what we're gonna do is having the first name and last name side by side, email and phone number side by side as well. So I have put in the code and altered it so that I could create the HTML markup. And actually this is recycled from the previous videos on this series. So here, e each of the line is a row and some have two columns and for some, just like the text area, they just have one column row. So let's save that and refresh our builder. So here is our form now. You're not seeing any changes for the layout because we need to add in the CSS code for the layout. And actually we could just recycle the code that we have in the previous videos. So we put in this block of code. And for here, it's in one column. So let's... Copy this one. Then set the flex basis to 100%. And now we get these two text areas to 100%. Now we have completed the styling of our form elements. So we're going to proceed and go back to our contact form and then actually apply the short codes or the setting that would enable us to create a multi-step contact form. Creating a multi-step contact form through the add-on that we installed is actually quite straightforward. So let's get started on that one. First, you just have to click on the tab start and let's say this is for personal information. Then let's insert a tag. And then step finish. So this will be our first step. And let's copy these four fields. Place it there. And then, since this is the first step, then we need to put in the next button. Let's put that in one column. And then let's create another step. So just click on step start. Let's say this 
is for case information. Let's close that. Then copy this block. And then copy this block as well. And since this is the second step, then we can put in a previous and next button. So for the previous step, we could just put that here. And then lastly, for our third step, which will be for additional information step, we're going to do the same thing and just put in the label, insert tag, add the finish tag, then click on the select all those and copy and add a previous button. Then let's save this. And let's just make sure this is save and refresh. So here you don't see any indicator because we have to add the progress bar shortcode with that. So let's select blitz, save. And refresh again. And here we got our three indicators, which are the labels for the steps we have created. But as you can see, there is a default color for the bullets and then the active text, which we can override through custom CSS. And that's what we're going to write now. So for it to be easier for us to determine what CSS classes or CSS selectors to write in order to target the elements we're about to style, we can go to the front end so that we can just inspect the elements and check on the CSS selectors that we need to copy and override the style. So for this one, the active bullet gets the color green so we can just copy that one and then use the color property and set the color to it presumably this will change the color of the text of the active bullet and there we go and we can also increase the font size of this one to somewhere around 12. And let's try to target the bullet itself. So let's just inspect the element. And it is a before pseudo selector. And here, you have this, you could copy either this or this, but let's just use this one. Let's clean up the code a bit. Then set the background color to the color we use for the text. And there you have it. Next, we're going to style the next button. Let's save that. Right click, inspect, and this is the selector for the next and previous button. Firstly, let's set the background color.
Then get rid of the border by setting it to zero. Change the color to white. Add some padding to the button. Then maybe let's add a border radius to it around three pixels. And let's add a top margin for the spacing. And there you have it. Let's kind of adjust the padding to six. So let's go to the front end and test our form. Let's refresh. Let's try to fill in the form. And also, it's good to note that these fields, before you, after clicking the next button, would actually validate. For example, these are required fields, and it's not going to the next step. And there is actually an error message here, but it's not visible because of the text color. So let's target that and set it to red. Save and refresh. And there you have it. So let's put in some fields here. Click on next. And here our send button you need to apply the same styling to our previous and next button. So for that, we just have to inspect the element. It's the input type submit. And we can actually just add it here. Let's put in WP CF7, then input type submit. And let's get rid of the text shadow. Set it to none. and also the box shadow for the button. Set it to none as well. And here, there is a button. Let's set the line height to 1.2. And there you have it, they're now even. Just copy all of this and paste it here. Shift tab. And hopefully this will be the last testing. Next, next. So there you have it guys, we now have the CSS codes that didn't even take that much customization in order for us to achieve this look and customize a multi-step content form. So that's it for this video guys, we hope that this has been helpful and the CSS and HTML codes that are used in this video will be posted in the description box below as a link to adjust and also this will be available to download in the design cloud. We look forward to bringing you more creative concepts formed in the series and thanks for watching and have a good one.